This is exercise 21.1.4a, manipulating dynamic blocks. I'm in the blocks dynamic file in the steps lesson 21 folder. A quick note, you cannot create or edit dynamic blocks in AutoCAD for Mac. You can in AutoCAD for the PC. And since the drawings are compatible, you may on occasion run into a dynamic block even in the, the Mac version. We'll start with the window block. When you select it, you notice that you get a normal grip, but you also get an arrow grip. Anytime you have this type of arrow, it means that something can be resized. If I select it, you'll see that I have dashes, I have locators, on the block telling me where I can where I can put it and I can resize it accordingly. This particular window was designed so that it would fit in several different slots and the slots were identified when we created the block. If I toggle dynamic input on when I select the arrow it actually gives me dimensions and makes it easier to know what size window I'm installing. Selecting the door, again you'll see I have resizing arrows. I can resize my door like so. I also have this type of arrow, an arrow with a tail. This type of arrow tells me that I can flip my door or I can flip my block like so. I also have a downward pointing arrow with a, an opening in it like this. This grip allows me to select the size of my door from a menu. Like so. Selecting my table, you'll see I have two selection arrows. I can change the type of stool that I have from a stool to a chair. I can select the size of my table. Notice that as my table increases, the number of chairs increase. Dynamic blocks are really handy and they're something to look forward to when they finally make their way onto the Mac platform. 